In this video, let me consider one numerical on node analysis. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to find node voltages using node analysis. So first, let me mark the nodes. So this is one node. I will assume the voltage at this node is V1. Here we have node. I will assume voltage at this node is V2. And I will assume voltage at this node is V3. And this is the reference voltage. The voltage at this node is always 0, which is nothing but reference voltage. So this is reference voltage whose voltage is always 0. We are supposed to find V1, V2, V3 with respect to reference voltage. So in node voltage analysis, first we have to mark all branch currents. So let me assume current through this branch is I1. Let current through this branch is I2. Let current through this branch is I3. And current through this branch is I4. Here anyhow there is a current source. Here we have current source and here we have current source. So in this circuit we can observe that at node V2 and V3 there is a voltage source connected directly. So if voltage source is connected between two nodes directly those two nodes are known as super nodes. So here V2 and V3 are super nodes. So if there is a super node, in that case we have to analyze the voltage source first. So let me tell you how to analyze the voltage source. Here we can observe that plus is connected to V2 and negative terminal is connected to V3. This 4 volt is equal to V2 minus V3. Let me call it as equation 1. And one more condition is if there is a super node, the another condition is the algebraic sum of currents at super node is always 0. That is, let me write algebraic sum of currents at super node is equal to 0. So let me find the currents at super nodes. So at V2, the currents at V2 are, I can write here, currents at node V2 are, here we can see, <coughs> if, the, if we consider the incoming current as positive, we have to consider outgoing current as negative. So here current I1 is incoming, it will be plus I1, current I2 is outgoing, so comma I can write minus I2 where current I2 is outgoing. Here another current is coming that is phi amp which is incoming I can call it I can take it as plus phi. Similarly find the currents at V3 that is current at node V3 are. So here we can see current I3 is outgoing that is leaving the node it will be minus I3 then current 8 amp is leaving the node it will be minus 8 and here we can observe that I4 is entering so it will be plus I4. So sum of these all is equal to 0 that is according to this definition algebraic sum of currents at super nodes is equal to 0. So these are the currents at super nodes therefore the sum of these all is equal to 0. I can write it as I1, I1 minus I2 plus phi minus I3 minus 8 plus I4 is equal to 0 or I can write it as I1 minus I2 minus I3 plus I4 so here minus 8 plus phi is minus 3 I will take 3 on other side it will become plus 3 or I can write 3 is equal to we have I1 minus I2 minus I3 I1 minus I2 minus I3 plus I4 plus I4. So the next step is now we have to express all these currents in terms of node voltages. So let me take I1. So here we can observe that I1 is the current 
which is flowing from V1 towards V2. So I can express I1 as, as we know, current is equal to V by R, voltage by resistance. So I1 is flowing from V1 towards V2. So it can be represented as V1 minus V2 divided by 5. So here it is, 3 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 5 minus here we have I2. I2 is nothing but V2 minus this voltage. This voltage is 0. So we can write it as V2 by 3. So that is I2 is V2 by 3 minus I3. So here we can see I3 is nothing but V3 divided by 2. So I3 is V3 divided by 2 plus I4. So here I4 is nothing but V1 minus V3 divided by 1. So simply I can write V1 minus V3. That is V1 minus V3 divided by 1. Let me simplify this. That is 3 is equal to. So here I can take V1 by 5. V1 I can write 1 by 5. Here we have plus 1. And here I can take minus V2. This will be 1 by 5 plus 1 by 3. So minus we have here V3, it will be 1 by 2, it will be plus 1. So I will simplify this, that is 3 is equal to 1 by 5 plus 1, use 1.2 V1 minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 3, it gives zero point five three 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 v two minus one by two plus one it is one point five v three so let me call it as equation two we have equation one is v two four is equal to v two minus v three and equation two is this one <laughs> so now the next step is here we have one more node v one so to this node this v one node is independent now we have to apply KCL to node V1. As V2 and V3 were super nodes, that nodes we have already analyzed by do, doing this operation. Now the remaining node is V1. We have to apply KCL to node V1. Now apply KCL to node V1. That is apply KCL to node V3 is equal to I1 plus I4 plus 5. 3 is equal to I1 plus I4 plus 5 or I can write 3 minus 5 that is minus 2 is equal to I1 plus I4 or I can write it as minus 2 is equal to so I1 is nothing but V1 minus V2 divided by 5 V1 minus V2 divided by 5 plus I4 here I4 is nothing but V1 minus V3 divided by 1 that is V1 minus V3. So let me simplify this. So I can write it as minus 2 is equal to V1 we have 1 by 5 plus 1 and here we have minus 1 by 5 V2 minus V3. Let me simplify this further or I can write minus 2 is equal to we have 1 by 5 plus 1 is 1 1.2 V1. Then we have minus 1 by 5. 1 by 5 means 0 0.2 V2 minus 0 0.2 V2. Then we have minus V3 minus V3. Let me call it as equation 3. Now equation 1, 2, 3 can be solved directly using calculator. Keeping calculator in equation mode. That is solving equation 1, 2, 3, we get, so we will get V1 is equal to minus 8.6 volts, V2 is equal to minus 3.6 volt and we have V3 is equal to minus 7.6 volts. So this is the required result. Thank you for watching.